Welcome back to the series guys, where we are taking a vehicle and turning it into an overland vehicle, but on a budget. If you have missed any of the first two series, then I'll stick a link at the top now, so don't miss that. Go back to the beginning and catch up to where we are right now. Uh, something really exciting is going on today. Very exciting, that's for sure. <laughs> we are on our way to Direct 4x4 to finalise the fit out for this vehicle. Uh, we're going to be choosing all the overland gear and uh, finding out what works best and uh, putting it on today. So you're going to see that happen today. How cool is that? Super excited, super excited. Honestly, I can't wait. And also the weather is so good. Actually, very good. 29 degrees. So, it's so Indian summer. Yeah, exactly. It's Guys, good. please don't forget to give this video a like. You know, subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell because we don't want you to miss our videos. They're coming out at random times now. So exactly. you know, get a notification when those come in. Hit that magic bell. Ching. This series is sponsored by Started as a whisper message from a new world I never know Something about it felt like What's happening in there? Morning's on. Looks smart. Eh? Very neat. Looking neat. It's gonna be good. Here we are a week later. The last shot you saw was of us loading all the gear into the car, all those boxes back at Direct 4x4. Um, but now we've had a week to get everything out, put it all together and uh, actually have a, a good test of everything because last weekend was our Patreon camping weekend. So we had you know, three nights to sort of get, get a feel for everything, uh, set everything up. And um, yeah, so here we are today. We're gonna take you around and show you everything in detail all the costs associated with that. Um, so yeah, how about we jump straight into it? So before we jump into that and show you all the gear, you know, how it works and go into the details, I want to go through with you, you know, the costings, everything. I know a lot of you want to know where this project is up to. So do I. So let's uh, jump straight into that and, um, you know, work out what the totals are so far. So if we start with the highest priced bit of gear first and then descend from there, I think that'll be the easiest way to do it. Starting with the Pass Seeker 2, amazing electronic roof tent. Um, that comes in at 199.99. Following that, we have our pull-out kitchen, uh, the Overland kitchen, which comes in at 599.99. After that, we have our 45 liter fridge. That's 399.99. The side awning, 239.99 the 1.4 meter rear awning 184.99 and this is the storage boxes times two which comes in at well they're 124.99 each so times two 249.98 bringing our total to 3674.93 um, but of course remember guys you can get 10% off everything at Direct 4x4 using code Jake Overland 
which brings that total down from 367493 down to 3307.44. So that's pretty cool, eh? If we add that to our previous totals, the new grand total comes in at 8140.31. That's where we're up to today at this stage of the project. Um, yep, yeah, it's creeping up, it's closer to our 10,000 pound limit, but um, you know, we still got a bit of room to work with there, so I think we're doing all right. And now the lovely Christina is going to demonstrate how to set up all this gear for us. Let's go. Very lovely, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> Straps first. Right. Hard ah! being short. Did you see the flick in my eye? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You forgot these ones. Fired. You can't do it. Okay. There you go. <laughs> uh, well, that was the hardest part <laughs> of assembling, which is not really hard, isn't it? So, I've got magic remote. So, all I have to do is just press one up. Love that. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Never thought I would see it. And we have timed it to the whole process is taking literally one whole minute, so 60 seconds for it to completely open up and same for closing. Sorry, right, I'm already up. <laughs> um, okay. Just worth noting to pay attention here, if you're on a bit of an angle like we are on the slope, hold the ladder as it comes up just so it doesn't swing down and hit the car. Next thing we do, just have to make the final touch and the tent is ready. That's literally it. Right, there's your hotel or penthouse on wheels, literally, so here we are. I really love these. These are your boot storage with the mesh at the bottom, which has been really handy. So as you go in, you have a seat here, chuck your wet boots in there. And in here is where it houses it's the battery pack. And it actually has a solar panel on the top, which uh, charges that up for you. Or you can uh, plug it in at home or buy a 12 volt USB, etc. Comfy, are we? These are little airflow windows. More airflow here. You can undo that and cover it. Obviously, all the windows have zip with mesh. Bug screen. <laughs> From you. Two meter by two meter awning. We've got the grey this time, really liking the colour and it suits the car and the whole setup. What with the colour of the car and the black wheels, etc. Let's 
So that's the 1.4 meter wide awning. Comes out two meters as well. Again in the gray. Getting a theme here. <laughs> See these also have guide ropes, tie them down when it's windy, etc. Um, Let me show you a little trick we discovered recently. Instead of like completely removing guide ropes, did you know that they perfectly fit in there and therefore there's no trouble when you're rolling these guys up? Christina's top tips. <laughs> I'm getting my OCD, I want to straighten that up. Right, shall we have a look what's inside then? Let's do it. Mm, I'm dying for tea. <laughs> Ooh, 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 look at that. So with this build being the budget build, keeping to a budget, you know, we've gone for a, a simple setup as possible here, whilst being comfortable and easy to use, well, I think. Um, you know, we've got these two storage boxes, a new item from Direct 4x4, really handy for putting all your gear in. So in one, we put all our pots, pans, cups, all that kind of thing, kettles, the other being dry food and things. You got the 45 litre fridge, Bluetooth controlled by your phone, there's an app and everything. Uh, be a fridge or freezer, uh, 45 litre. And that is sitting on our Direct 4x4 Expedition kitchen slide. Uh, it's a new bit of gear which we're pretty excited about because it's awesome. Um, so obviously you can uh, in and out your fridge. You've got a lifesaver on the back of there as well, there's enough space. Uh, so you can easily get in and out of the fridge, which is super handy. You have this table, which pulls out. Second table also pulls out. This on here is your windbreak. It sits in there like that. Then you have a windbreak for your stove, so perfect for our double burner. A lot of prep space here. There's also some legs that fold out, give it some extra support. Like so. We actually have used it without legs. We had no need to it. So it just depends on the weight and what you're doing, isn't it? That's true. For demonstrations purposes. They just nicely clip up in the bottom there. There you have it, guys. You know, full on work workspace there. We normally would get these out stick them around somewhere. We've got a uh, easy access to all the gear you need. See like I said there's a <laughs> all manner of our camping gear in there. And we'll normally just stick the other one out as well somewhere. For Anthony. <laughs> or it works doubles up as a good camp seat sitting by the fire if someone forgot their chair which we found out the other weekend. I couldn't praise these boxes enough. They're really, really cool. Well, for many obvious reasons. First of all, you've got these handles, which are really, really, well, it's obviously very light. I'm not that strong, but <laughs> it's very comfortable to carry as a team or as a solo person. So look at these clips. How cool are they? Just to pop those up. That's it. Also, as you can see, it's all airtight. And at first, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, right, it didn't look like too much space. But surprisingly, there's a lot of space because as it's airtight, that's, that's the design. But there's so much space on each side. And I think <laughs> we're definitely not going to go starving. That's for sure. And also, you can put all the stuff in because it recesses into the lid. Exactly. Yeah. And there's a drain plug on the back if you want to fill it with ice or anything. Exactly. So if you want to make a big cool box, it's possible. And on one side, actually, proper cool box. Each cool box Gotta is supposed be done. to have a beer. Nice touch. <laughs> and this actually has uh, eco mode or max mode, so you can also, you know, have it using less power as such and you can have the battery protection modes as um, low, high or medium so you know if you want it to be able to drain your leisure battery a bit lower without cutting out then that's perfect because you can have it going for much longer 
or if you really want a high protection and maybe it's your starter battery or something it will cut out sooner when that battery starts to drop so you know, you've got the choice there all controlled by the app as well which is pretty cool I think and coming in at £350 or thereabouts you know 10% off if you use the code that's a pretty good deal in my opinion for this level of technology in a fridge like you're normally paying a fair bit more than that so that's a win Thank you.